My favorite airbrush accessory by far is this universal airbrush holder. I've been using this one every single day for the past two years, and within this video, I'll show you why I think this is the best airbrush holder that you could buy today. The first thing that you'll notice is that this design uses a clamp, which is a must for me. I don't know about you, but I always want my airbrush holder clamped or permanently mounted to a table or a desk. This way, I just never have to worry about it falling if I accidentally pull on the airbrush hose. And this is a large heavy duty clamp which will accommodate tables up to around 3 inches or around 76 millimeters. There's also a small amount of padding on the top part of this clamp to help protect the surface that you're mounting it to. And on the top you have two individual and rotatable arms that can hold any type of airbrush. Now I own a lot of different airbrushes and every single one fits into this universal holder and they're all held in securely. And that's what I really love about this holder, the security of it. Over the last two years, not a single airbrush fell out of this, even if I accidentally pulled or tripped on the airbrush hose. Once the airbrush is placed in here, it's pretty much locked in. It's not going anywhere until you lift it up and then out. Viewing it on the side like this, you can see how it works. It's a very simple design. The metal is molded around the contours of an airbrush, so not only does it hold it at the bottom, but it also supports it on the top on the front here. One thing that I like to do on this channel is show products that I really like, and this is one of them. The design on this one is so simple, it looks great, it's tough and durable, and somehow it manages to securely hold every airbrush ever made. I personally couldn't ask for anything more in an airbrush holder, it's the best one that I've ever owned. For what you're getting, I think it comes in at a really great price point. The list is 35 US dollars, but you could pick it up for less. I bought it for around 22, 23 dollars back in September of 2021, and I like it so much that I'm gonna purchase another one of these just for my videos so that when I'm doing an airbrush review, I have a place to keep them. It comes in a simple cardboard box with these very good and detailed instructions. Besides the airbrush holder, you also get a clamp and a small screw in a plastic bag. These are for connecting two other optional accessories, a spray out pot and a regulator moisture trap, which are both sold separately. If you connect all three of these, they call it the Iwata workstation. The two other things didn't interest me. Regulators and spray out pots have been around for decades, so there's nothing new. So the only thing that I bought in this kit was this universal airbrush holder. When you take it out of the box, it only takes a few seconds to set up. It comes with these two arms which hold the airbrushes, and these connect to this heavy base clamp with a single bolt. Both of these arms have a thin coating of what feels like rubber to me. It's just a small amount to protect the airbrush. And then all you need to do is line these two up, insert the bolt, and then screw this down to the base. There's also a small washer that you want to put on the bolt first before you install the two arms. And that way when you tighten it down, you could lock these arms any way you'd like. It basically goes in 360 degrees. So you get a lot of options to set up two airbrushes. And once you're happy with your setup, all you need to do is tighten this down and the airbrushes are going to stay that way. And then you can clamp it to any surface that you'd like up to around three inches and it's a clamp so it's pretty self-explanatory. The padding is only on the metal base, it's not on the screw, so it's only going to protect the top part of your table. And it's pretty decent padding, it feels like a combination of both rubber and foam. So if you have a nice table like oak or mahogany or something like that, I wouldn't be worried about this, I just wouldn't tighten it down too much. For the last decade and a half, I've been using these type of airbrush holders. You can get them at a bunch of places. This is a Harbor Freight one. To be honest, they work just fine. They're simple, they hold the airbrush. This one just has suction cups at the bottom, so it's not ideal. I always like one that clamps down, but this is a good portable one if you need to move it around. The ones that I bought the universal airbrush holder to replace are these on the left side of the screen. So many brands seem to manufacture these type of airbrush holders with all different combinations. So I'll just use this Harbor Freight one, which I still have, to use as a demonstration of why I wanted to upgrade. Like I said, these work just fine. They hold the airbrush and that's all you really need. But what they don't do is hold the airbrush very well. What I've noticed is that if you accidentally step on the hose or if you get up from painting and it gets caught on your leg, the airbrush almost always falls out of the holder. Now, of course, that doesn't happen that often, but to me, over the years, it happened enough to where I wanted something better. Another thing that I wasn't crazy about is I never felt like the airbrush was that secure if it didn't have the hose connected to it. If you're placing your airbrush in quickly and you place it in the wrong way like I'm showing here, it's going to be top heavy and it's going to fall forward. And another thing is that I use a lot of side feed airbrushes and these just don't do a great job at holding side feeds. They still work, you can get them to fit, but it's not great, it just doesn't feel secure. And when you have an expensive airbrush like this, I just don't feel comfortable leaving it in here. So what I found myself using the majority of the time were these small black plastic holders. 
The front of the airbrush slides into this and it holds it in place. And in most cases, this is going to work great, but again, it just doesn't feel that secure to me. A few other reasons that I wanted to upgrade from these. The first is that they don't do a great job at holding an airbrush that has a MAC valve. The MAC valve kind of gets caught on the bottom, so you can't press the airbrush far enough in. And this just does not feel secure at all, and I wouldn't recommend it. And the durability of these black plastic pieces is not that great, because over the years, maybe four or five years, they always end up cracking and breaking. And finally, something that I noticed on my Infinity CR Plus is that right here, there's a small chip in the chrome. Now, I have no idea if this type of airbrush holder caused this, you know, just from placing it in and out thousands of times. But it's definitely possible because you can see here that when I insert this, the crack lines up right along the edge of the plastic. So my guess is that one of these type of plastic airbrush holders caused this just from that constant friction of me placing the airbrush back in it. Again, there's no way that I can confirm this or prove this, but it's just my assumption and it seems pretty likely. For any of you that are watching this, I'd like to know if anything like this happened to yours. Have you noticed any scuffs or, or chips in the chrome? I definitely doubt that this is common or likely, but it's something that I noticed on an expensive airbrush, so it's something I wanted to point out. And that's why this universal airbrush holder is without a doubt my favorite airbrush accessory. It solved all of those complaints that I just talked about that I've had for many years, and it did it at a very good price. So let's go through a few different examples and a few different airbrushes to show you why this is the airbrush holder I recommend. First of all, it's so sturdy with or without the airbrush hose connected. Either way, once you place the airbrush in, it's not going to go anywhere until you lift it back out. And if I switch to a side feed like this custom Micron Takumi, it fits in just as well as a traditional gravity fed airbrush. And if you have one with a MAC valve, like this new gallery airbrush, it fits in just the same. If we look at this airbrush, the Iwata TH, this is like a worst case scenario. It's a very large airbrush with a large cup, it has a MAC valve, and it has the trigger at the bottom. And this one fits in just like every other airbrush. It's held in very securely, and you could do this with or without the hose connected. This one right here is one of the craziest airbrushes I own. It's the Badger 360. It's a very cool design. It's both gravity fed and siphon fed and it has this large cup at the bottom. This is the only airbrush that I own that doesn't fit this holder right out of the box. So I was watching a really good video on the Iwata YouTube channel and they said that you can kind of bend these out a little bit just by prying them. That way you can get it to fit a more unusual airbrush like the Badger 360. So I tried that out, I just pried it like a few millimeters out and this fits in perfectly. And so out of every single airbrush I own, this Badger 360 is the only one that didn't fit it well right out of the box. But a simple adjustment and it's good to go. If you use siphon fed airbrushes, even with larger bottles at the bottom, these fit it perfectly. So it doesn't matter what type of airbrush you're using, siphon fed, gravity fed, side cup, top trigger, bottom trigger, MAC valve, large cup, no cup, you get the point. I couldn't find a single airbrush that doesn't fit into this holder and it holds them all so securely. And with that metal ring over the front of the airbrush, it makes it feel like it's locked in place. I love any product that makes painting easier for me and more efficient, and this universal holder did just that. Again, really any airbrush holder is just fine. I'm not saying that everyone should run out and buy one of these, but if you want a solid upgrade from all the other ones on the market and want to treat yourself to something better, this is my number one recommendation for airbrush holders. Whoever came up with this design for Iwata, you are awesome. Thank you for this because you solved a problem that I've been having for years. And speaking of awesome, I'd like to thank these awesome channel members for their generous support. I'd like to welcome the newest members, Renee and Donnie, both at Tier 3. Thank you so much, guys, and welcome. And thank you to Manny for upgrading to a Tier 2. That was very nice of you, so thank you. And finally, welcome to Tyrell and the Rookie. Thank you for watching, everyone. Since this is a few days after New Year's, I'd like to wish everyone a very happy and healthy 2024. I appreciate all of you who watch these videos and subscribe to the channel. So thank you all so much, and I'll see you back here next Friday.